what to do today? Hmm, let's see. Conspiracy theorists. Hmm, what's this? Truth Unsealed, the David Zublik channel. Satanic religion to be taught in public schools? CIA created child sex cult exposed? The latest abomination, youth pole dancing. Globalists using vaccines for genocide? <laughs> I think we have a winner. Breaking now. Globalists are using vaccines and genetically modified food to depopulate the planet. Can they be stopped? How can you avoid being one of the millions that will be exterminated in their evil plans to kill off most of humanity and leave only the chosen few who will rule the world? Wow, so much stupid in so few a seconds. So, globalists are working together whoever globalists are, unless he's a flat earther and he thinks everyone who thinks the world is round is a globalist, in which case it's everyone, are working together to make genetically modified foods and vaccines that are going to kill everybody and just leave this elite group to rule over each other and actually have fuck all in the way of subjects. Oh wow. Wow. Wow, that, that is the mother load, isn't it? That, that's, that's so far out there. Look, dude, it's pretty simple. We have been genetically modifying foods ever since the first grains. Farmers have been breeding different crops together to genetically modify them to make more resilient crops, better tasting crops. We turn the plantain into the fucking banana. So, we have always genetically modified food. It's not something new. We have better tools for doing it now. And as for vaccines, I'm pretty sure vaccines are designed to help us, not hinder us. They've actually kept millions upon millions of people alive, almost eradicating smallpox. Bringing measles down to a point where people didn't have to worry about it until recently when idiots like you who are against vaccines stopped having children vaccinated. And now measles is having a comeback. In all honesty, dude, this is just drivel and bullshit. Just on a slightly elevated scale than your average conspirator. David Zublik here with Truth unsealed where you'll learn what they don't want you to know as ever the ever-present they conspiratards favorites who is it this time is it nasa is it the government is it the freemasons come on dude tell us who they are because i'm yet to really find a conspiracist who can tell us who they are Globalists. That's a bad word among those of us who believe in the sovereignty of the United States of America and our freedoms and our liberties. Globalists are using vaccines and pesticide laden food, believe it or not. Oddly enough, I don't believe you. Isn't that amazing? And obviously your globalists are kind of like the United Nations or people who believe the world should be more of a cooperative than independent governments fighting each other all the time. Wow. So you're against anybody who isn't American. Okay. To kill off humanity. Now that sounds pretty dramatic. Well, I don't know if I'd go for dramatic. Stupid. I mean, what would be the point of killing ourselves off? And especially in this matter, considering we're doing a pretty good job of wiping out the planet with climate change and pollution and stuff like that. Why do we need anything else? We've got a good system in place already. But it's absolutely true. Citation needed, please. But I don't think you're going to give us any evidence. Just 
more typical conspiracy theorists who hire nonsense. <sighs> I'm gonna need a piece of wood, aren't I? Globalists have an agenda of actually eliminating most of humanity from the planet Earth for the sake of saving the Earth and saving the environment. But for whom or for what? And what is their real agenda? So protecting the environment and looking after the planet is wiping out humanity? Oh wow, that, that's, that, that, that's a leap of logic that should have thrown you off the edge of a fucking cliff. You people are absolutely outstanding in the drivel that just drips out of your mouth. So far, you have just said the same thing over and over again. Globalists? Bad! Kill humanity! Ooh! No evidence. Just pure supposition. You have absolutely no idea what you are talking about. Is it really to depopulate the world? No. There is no conspiracy to depopulate the world. So you're done. You're done, right? You're done. I bet you're not done. There's no way you're fucking done. Damn it. Or is there something even more sinister like money involved? When our next guest says that there is a lot going on behind the scenes with vaccines and pesticide-laden food. You're going to want to hear all about that. His name is Ronnie McMullen of... What the fuck? We're two and a half minutes into your video and now I find out you've got a guest? What? How much fucking word salad did you eat? Oh, God, this video is going to go on forever. How you doing, David? I'm doing very well. Thanks for being with us once again. Interesting, um, interesting article uh, this time around. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar and I, you know, the, what's going on. Okay, this is, I, I can't cope with this. It's going to go on too long if I play that whole video. So I'm going to skip through to the important parts so that you guys don't have to put up with this shit. And I'll leave a link to the original video down below in the description. And if you really, really want to burn your brain cells, you can go check it out. I guess my question to you is, what do you think? We, we've talked about this before, about genetically modified foods. We've talked about vaccines. But what do you think, in Ronnie McMullen's uh, opinion, is the purpose of doing the things that they're doing, these pushes for vaccines and these pushes for genetically modified foods, uh, pesticide-laden foods. What, is there an agenda behind this? I think so. I mean... I had to skip two and a half minutes of his video just to get to that question. And then the question itself was complete word salad of everything he'd said previously. So finally, we get to hear what the guy says, and his first things out of his mouth was, I think so. I have no evidence, but I think so. Let's see where he goes with it. That's a, it's a catch-22. Yes, I think there's an agenda behind this. Some people label it as conspiracy. I label it as absolute truth. I get the feeling you wouldn't know what the absolute truth was if somebody nailed it to a board and smacked you around the head with it. The truth isn't something you make up in the morning whilst you're reading the back of your cereal box. The truth is objectifiable. The truth has evidence. The truth is not your little tiny dream things in your little tiny brain. Um, why are they doing this? Um... First of all, when somebody forces you to get something or do something, it's kind of like we had to, we were forced, we had to have health care or we were going to be dinged on our taxes, meaning we're, we're going to have to pay more taxes. Nothing wrong with health care. Health care is a good thing. I live in a country that has pretty good health care. And if we get sick, we can go to the doctors. And if you are a lower income owner, that doctor will probably end up being free and you will get the medicine that you need at a cheaper rate because these things are subsidized for the people who can't afford it. This is good. This is what's good for people. Looking after the underprivileged is what a generous and a compassionate society does. Universal health care should be a right, not a privilege. So 
anytime there's a force behind us, not a free will. So then I thought we live in a free country. So why are we being forced to do things, especially when it becomes about our own bodies? You know, if you're forced to obey the law and go 55 miles an hour, I mean, I get it. But when you're forced to take something that is not proven to be a truth and put a needle in your arm. Not proven. Okay. So the almost complete eradication of smallpox didn't happen. The reduction of the threat of measles didn't happen. The destruction of polio didn't happen. These are all the things that you are denying by saying vaccines bad. Yeah, there are a few people who are allergic to vaccines who can have bad reactions. This is the reason why the rest of us need vaccines. It's called herd immunity. The more of us who aren't allergic, who have it, the more we protect those who cannot have vaccines. You lot stopping your kids from having vaccines is destroying herd immunity. And as such, things like measles and probably even in the future, smallpox and polio are going to make big comebacks and we are going to have countless hundreds of thousands of deaths. We are going to go back to a medical dark age because of you assholes. Which, by the way, a chip uh, can be put in a needle. That's how small it is. Uh, can be put in your needle for tracking as well, so they can track you like a dog. You conspiracy theorists. If it's not aliens putting things in us to track us, it's the government through our immunizations. Oh, for goodness sake. Do you understand how dog chips work? They don't track your dog. They're not satellite connected. The ranger who catches your dog has to go up with a little machine and pass it over the back of their neck to get a reading. So they can't track you, even if they were putting these little things in your body. But they're not putting these little things in your body. Now you're just making shit up. Um, there's, I think there's something very wrong with this. And the whole GMO issue is, and again, it's going back to the original name, genetically modified, which is man-made. That means man-made, genetically modified organism. Like I said, just like bananas. Most of our varieties of apples. The grains we eat. These are all genetically modified. Modified over countless years by farmers crossbreeding different varieties together. All that happens now is that we can do faster in the lab what used to take maybe a hundred years to do out in the fields. We're talking about an organism that is not of God. We're talking about an organism that is man-created, that has its own whatever, its own DNA, its own structure. Everything has its own DNA. You have your own DNA. I have my own DNA. Oddly enough, Donald Trump has his own DNA. Wow, who'd have thunk it? And as for your God, well, I'd like you to prove that your God exists first before you bring him into this argument. And they put that together. It's like putting a peach tree and a nectarine tree and grafting it together. And that's what they're grafting something else uh, together with us and changing us, changing the environment, all of that. And this... Hang on. When did you get to changing us? We were talking about changing foods, GMOs. Where are we on about changing humans? That was a big leap of stupidity there, that was. Changes our health. If you notice, our health's not getting better over the years. Well, let's see if that bullshit's true. Ah, look. Global average life expectancy increased by 5.5 years between the year 2000 and the year 2016. The fastest increase since the 1960s. Those gains reverse declines during the 1990s when life expectancy fell in Africa because of the AIDS epidemic and in Eastern Europe following the collapse of the Soviet Union. So there were actual reasons in those countries why it fell and lowered the global average, but in general, life expectancy has increased remarkably over the past century. We don't see less people in the hospital. We don't see less people urgent care. 
We don't see less people that are sick. We're, we go to the, a restaurant and have a meal, and we overhear three conversations about everybody losing loved ones or having loved ones in, in emergency. Two things to say here. Anecdotal evidence is not good evidence. You overheard somebody in a restaurant is not evidence for your case. And the other thing, the world's population is increasing at an alarming rate. So obviously there will be more people in hospitals and we will need more hospitals because there are more of us to get sick. Per percentage of the population though, the amount of us getting sick is lower. So this is our new life and they think, bottom line, bottom line, even more than trying to get rid of people on this world, bottom line, profits. So it's all the they and the profits. How does this equate with them removing the population? If you remove the population, you've got less people to make money from. You want more people to sell these things too, so you can make more money. The more population there is, the more people to sell things to, the greater percentage of people who will need these things. Getting rid of the population does not help big business. Big business likes population. But anyway, I think I've had enough of these doodles. And my video is getting quite long. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And please, Try not to choke on the selfie stick.